National Educator. Welcome to today's biology revision and today we'll be looking at a question that normally uh, comes in paper 2 of biology but at times it can appear in paper 1 but it will be very brief and the marks awarded will be very uh, talk of 2, 3 marks or at most 4. Should you get this kind of question in paper 2? Two, you realize it will be carrying eight marks. These are marks that you can easily score and get everything right. Lana, you are likely to come across genetic crosses and the genetic crosses will be in four areas. One, we have uh, incomplete dominance, we have complete dominance, we have linkage, and we have core dominance. Before we do across today, I want to break the, the terms for you because you cannot start working on the cross when you don't understand what the terms mean. So our first term there is complete dominance. And this is a condition where the dominant allele masks the expression of a recessive allele. The dominant allele masks the expression of a recessive allele. Uh, an example of such a case is whereby you have a tall pea plant crossed with a dwarf pea plant and tallness is dominant over dwarfness. So you realize all the offsprings in the first filial generation will all be tall. So that is an example of complete dominance. The dominant allele has masked the expression of the recessive allele. So this is one area you're likely to come up or that you're likely to get a question testing you in. The next scenario where you're likely to come across a genetic cross is in complete dominance. Is in incomplete dominance and this is a condition where the heterozygote is phenotypically distinguishable. Neither of the allele is fully dominant over the other. I'll give you a very good example where we have the four o'clock plant with uh, uh, we have one with red flowers. When it is crossed with another one with white flowers we are likely to come across a scenario whereby the offsprings will all be pink. So you realize neither of the alleles is dominant over the other. So we have one parent being red, the other parent being white, and the offsprings are pink. So you realize this is a very good example of incomplete dominance. So we have looked at complete dominance. We have seen incomplete dominance. I also mentioned we have what we call co-dominance. What is co-dominance? Co-dominance is a condition where uh, when the two alleles in a heterozygous organisms are fully expressed phenotypically, are fully expressed phenotypically. I'll break down for you what phenotypically means. So another example of co-dominance is in the area of blood group. For example, if the father is blood group A, and remember the antigen, uh, the blood group takes after the, uh, the antigen, assuming the father is blood group A, the mother is blood group B, chances of getting a child who is blood group A is very high. So in that, that's a very good scenario of co-dominance. 